1985. If you want to understand the purpose of life, it can only come through meditation, so you need to start meditation. Over a period of six years, became a seeker, a very, very intense seeker, wanted to know what is the purpose of life and went through nine meditations. So I asked S.P. Sam, hey, what do you do? He said that I do a meditation by which uh, I get yogic transmission. He asked me to sit in front of him and uh, said, give a thought, just a very subtle thought, that divinity is in your heart in the form of light. And then after that, just observe and do not stop any thought. So I sat down in front of him. Within, that was a half an hour meditation, just sitting quietly with eyes closed and doing this. With this subtle thought that there is and I am observing myself. Something, something very different started happening in my heart and inside which is not explainable. It needs to be experienced. And I asked him after the sitting was over, what happened? He said, sir, you are, uh, you were receiving yogic transmission and it was cleaning you up. You, are, you got deep, very, very deep impressions which need to be cleaned, and they get cleaned by this human transmission. So if I had not experienced anything, I would have laughed, but I experienced something. So I said, what next? Uh, he said, you need to take three to four such sittings. This is for the sitting, such sitting from a preceptor. He was a preceptor of this meditation, and you need to take two, three sittings, and then you can sit down on your own, and you can do your meditation on your own. This is like an initi initiation. So second day, yeah, second day also I experienced something, third day, fourth day. Then he said, now you are ready, you start doing your own meditation. So next day I sat down, I didn't experience anything. Only when he was sitting in front of me, I was experiencing something. So I gave him a call and said, when you are sitting in front of me, I am experiencing something, but when you are not sitting, I am not experiencing. He said, sir, your sensitivity is still less. You will start experiencing. I said, Mere paas time nahi hai. Ajo office and give me more sittings. So I don't know, some he must have thought about it, came for us a line. So he came back and for the next 10, 15 days, he gave me continuously a sitting every day. After that, of course, I also started experiencing. Maybe a lot of rubbish had to be removed before I could start experiencing. It's been now 12 years and this thing completely changed my life. Completely in every aspect. Let's get into what what are the various aspects of life, and then I'll come to the purpose of life. Work life changed. In the work life, what I found was that my concentration levels had jumped, became very very high as compared to the concentration level which I had earlier. So when guys are making a presentation to me, I could see it very quickly and come to a conclusion or. Another thing which I saw, my intuition, this is knowledge, what Kavi is giving you is knowledge. When you go and experience it, it is wisdom. Knowledge plus experience is called wisdom. Something about that is intuition. Where even before an incident takes place, it's a heart sounds saying something. So this intuition improved. Creativity improved. This was fantastic because I would never think that meditation will improve my creativity. I could start, start getting more brighter ideas, new ideas, creativity. So these are so that the work life, the efficiency improved because of these three things. Family life. Within I think six months or so of my starting this meditation, she didn't do any of the earlier nine meditations. She started doing this meditation. And now we are both preceptors of this meditation. The life in the, in the house has changed very substantially. We do have fights. So we don't have fights. We have fights, but we get over the fights very fast, very quickly. And they don't go to that extreme. If the graph was like this earlier, down and up, extreme behaviors. Graph you guys into So here it changed our family life. Then purpose of life wise. I became more clear. I am not still 100% clear, but now my heart tells me this is the purpose of life. 
and I was able to prioritize my life then according to this. Now I find that we have a spiritual purpose of life. That is my priority number one. Which, if I tell you what is the purpose, it has no meaning. You need to experience it and it has to be yours. It cannot come by, I will tell you what is your purpose of life. But once you realize that this is the purpose of life, I made that as the first purpose. In fact, I made my health as the second purpose. I made third the relationships as the third purpose, my priorities, and fourth one. This is what I teach to my employees. I have in uh, electricity board I had one lakh fifty thousand employees. In Sipco, I had about 2,000 employees. Sales tax was about 10,000. And Mumbai Port has 10,000 employees and 40,000 pensioners. So this is what I, whenever I talk to them, I talk to them about this priority. And they feel very surprised. Because everybody tells, come work. First priority should be work. I say, the fourth priority is work. Uh, because if you do the first three correctly, fourth happens on its own. This is my point. Both automatically starts happening so the first, second and third priorities come properly. You need to realize these priorities. Sunne se nahi hone wala. Sunne se ke bhai aaj Sanjay ko sun liya. Aaj se meri priority spiritual life, second health, third ye nahi hoga. You need to get into that meditation to mene shuru mein sikha. Meditation karne se andar se aayega. Pura. Your heart will start speaking to you. Then Another thing which is very very relevant because you guys, after you have done these projects, you are brilliant people, you will get into some leadership positions. When you start getting into leadership positions, you will be running heading organizations, maybe subheads first, then HODs and then senior levels. Uh, it's very very important that the organization becomes loyal to you. Organization starts liking you. And if you want to make any changes in the organization, then there has to be a very good trust which needs to get developed. I have done an MBA from Australia, Southern Cross University. They teach a subject called change management. They teach a lot of tools. And I started trying to do good success. Once I started applying meditation, now our employees are, you know, officers are doing meditation, employees are doing meditation. I saw that in sales tax, I saw that in Sitco. The organization culture starts getting transformed from inside. This I have seen. So if you ever get into a leadership position, this could be a very good tool. And they start becoming very loyal to you and they start trusting you. Everyone in Mumbai port now trusts me. You do it, you do it, you do it. Imagine port unions. Ports ke unions are so strong that they would change governments. And here, ports ke unions, they say, sir, what do you want to do? This is the level of trust which has got developed. I attribute this 100% to meditation. Not even 90%, 100% to meditation. So these are the organizational and cultural changes which can happen. Later, when you start getting deeper and deeper into it, you start getting some revelations of reality. And they are amazing revelations, amazing in the sense that they are, you you so surprised because the whole world is moving in this direction. It's called a principle of inverted though. Reality is this. Almost in every aspect. Then I'll start my meditation. One example of this, what do we do in our whole life is when we grow up, we are trying to, you guys, acquire knowledge. They keep seeing how oh, my hand is moving. Then you get a job, then you get a family, you get a house, you try to get some power, higher, higher positions. So all the time, the hand is moving like this. Most of the time. We have never realized that if the hand starts moving like this, then you don't have to do this. This automatically happens. Even in knowledge, take example because you will relate to that. 
rest of it you need to find yourself. Whenever you have taught someone some subject, you have learned it better. Is that right or not? Yes. Mm -hmm. And still we compete with each other. At the your age I was doing that, so I know. Usko mere notes nahi dene, puri nahi dena, no nahi dena. Mere apne paas mere apni knowledge rakhni hai. No, that's not the principle. That's all the whole world is moving. The real principle is that you know what's saying, ye le. That you know, I teach you, ye le. This is the reality principle, and it applies not only to knowledge; it applies everything. These are the type of revelations which you will start getting. and they help in creating your own destiny